Did East Asians really come from Africans? And why do some African people, like the San, share facial features we usually associate with Asians? This isn't just a genetics lesson, it's a journey into human origins that flips everything we thought we knew. Let's start with the facts. All modern humans, every single person alive today, descends from a group of Homo sapiens who evolved in Africa over 300,000 years ago. And around 60,000 to 70,000 years ago, a small group of those humans left Africa. They were dark-skinned, African, and they're the ancestors of everyone outside of the continent, including Europeans, East Asians, Native Americans, and more. As those early humans moved into East and Central Asia, they faced new environments, colder temperatures, strong wind, and less sunlight. Over tens of thousands of years, their bodies adapted to survive. That's why modern East Asians evolved traits like epicanthic eye folds to protect from wind and cold, flatter noses to humidify dry air, and lighter skin, though through different genes than Europeans, to make vitamin D in low sunlight. But here's what's fascinating. There's a group of people in Southern Africa called the San, also known as the Bushmen. They have epicanthic folds, high cheekbones, and golden brown skin, features often associated with East Asians. Why? Not because they're Asian, but because Africa holds the deepest genetic diversity in the world. The traits we think of as Asian may have existed in Africa long before people even left the continent. This is a concept called convergent evolution, when two groups, like East Asians and San people, evolve similar traits separately because they face similar environmental pressures. In this case, dry, windy environments may have encouraged protective eye folds in both populations, even though they lived on different continents. So, if dry deserts cause eye folds, why don't Middle Eastern people have them too? Because their desert environment is relatively new and their populations were constantly mixing. Plus, they adapted culturally with clothing, veils, and eye protection, instead of evolving new biological features. The truth is, East Asians came from African ancestors, just like everyone else. And the features we label by race, they're really just the result of climate, time, and evolution. So maybe the question isn't, where did East Asians come from? Maybe it's, why don't we all know that the answer is Africa?